The next talk is on lightweight and side channel secure 4 bit S boxes from cellular automata rules. The paper is by Ashrujit Goshal, Rajat Sadukan, Sikar Patranabis, Nilanjar Data, Stepan Picek, and Debdeep Mukopadiali. And Rajat will give the talk. Thanks for the introduction. So uh, in this talk, we are going to dis uh, discuss on lightweight side channel secure 4x4 uh, S-Box uh, design used uh, uh, from cellular automata rules. So uh, the first thing that motivated us to uh, for this work is uh, the NIST lightweight competition requirement and the resource uh, and to provide a solution for the resource constrained devices for IOTs. So for lightweight uh, uh, block ciphers, the common matrices that we use from cost perspective are area, memory, or energy consumption. And from performance perspective is throughput and power consumption. Now most of these matrices are orthogonal to each other. Uh, if, suppose if you increase area, then your throughput will be better, but if you uh, if you make a better throughput, your area might degrade. So uh, for our work, we focused on area as the lightweight competition requires that it has to be a low cost and and side channel resistance is a necessary uh, for, for the application. So uh, coming to some uh, lightweight uh, block ciphers, we have a present or gift or midori where uh, bit pump, which follows a linear layer, which is very lightweight, that follows bit permutation or uh, almost uh, MDS and shuffle cells. Uh, for for SCA measure countermeasures, uh, linear layer it is much more cheaper. But while it comes to nonlinear layer for S boxes, it becomes uh, heavy for especially for uh, making it side channel resistant. So side channel countermeasures requires a dedicated design where we we try to address this issue in our uh, in our work. So our goal is to design this uh, four cross four S boxes with side channel resistance using uh, cellular automata rules. So what we have done is we have used a cellular automata rule. Uh, with focus uh, on area. And with those rules, we tried to classify based on the number of cubic quadratic or linear terms in the ANF. And using that, we have seen that we have smaller area footprint with those S boxes, 49% and 35%. And it consumes lesser power uh, compared to present or uh, gift S boxes. Now, Following this, we we designed two design paradigms uh, with these S boxes: one with uh, bit permutation and another with uh, almost MDS matrices. At the end, we will show the, those results as well. So, before going to the details, let me uh, uh, give you some background. So, first thing is we call an S box optimal, which follows bijective property with nonlinearity four and differential uniformity four. Then uh, for side channel countermeasures, we uh, randomize the intermediate values and using a secret sharing scheme. So we followed a threshold implementation scheme for, uh, for our S-Box uh, uh, side channel resistant design. So proposed by Nikova. So this is a countermeasure against the differential power attack. So this is also based on a secret sharing scheme and uh, secure multi-party computation, which has correctness, non-completeness, and uniformity property. So let's take an example. Uh, so I have taken an example of an AND gate, which has two inputs. So we are uh, sharing the x, y input into four shares, and we will get output also as four shares, and we have four output functions to be uh, implemented in different modules to get the final output. So this 
this particular uh, example follows all these three properties so correctness non completeness and uniformity so if you uh, if you do an xor sum of all the outputs you will get you will f uh, fulfill these three uh, uh, properties okay next is cellular automata now cellular automata is a f local rule is a function which consists of a uh, regular i mean grid of cells where each cell has some finite set of states and the state of each cell is dependent on some neighborhood of, of its cells so for our function we for our uh, sbox design we use a rule a function iterated over flow four clock cycles to get four outputs so every cell like for example uh, if if our function is x1 to xn every cell uh, you consider that n there are n cells in the in our function and each function and if the d, and if if it depends on four uh, suppose for example d number of never neighboring cells so x1 will be depending on the d number of neighboring cells similarly all the uh, uh, cells will be dependent on its neighboring cells so this is an example where we have taken n as n as 6 and we have taken d as 3 so if you see the first uh, output, like the one in the in, uh, first output, this one is dependent on this one, zero, zero to give uh, the output as one. So now comes uh, designing how we, how we use this to design our uh, S boxes. So, uh, so if we take Four, uh, four variable rules, we will get around 2 to the power, 2 to the power 4 uh, total uh, rules. And we check the optimality. The optimality definition is according to the uh, slide that uh, I have uh, discussed uh, uh, before. So according to that, there are 512 rules which are optimal. I mean, which, uh, uh, which S boxes are optimal. So using that, we have, uh, we have, we, we are, uh, Cycling, I mean, we are permitting the input bits and we are getting in four clock cycles the four output bits. So, so and we have observed, uh, we have observed that for, uh, so if we classify those rules according to their ANF representation, first of all, those rules has a degree, algebraic degree three, and if we classify those rules according uh, to, the, to their ANF representations, we see, we observe that the, uh, fun since the algebraic structure of, so suppose if uh, F1 and F2 are uh, two functions with same number of cubic, quadratic, and linear terms, so those two functions will have, since they ha their algebraic st structure is same, so they have same area footprint and same identical TI structure. So if so, these are the classes that we have obtained, like uh, uh, one, two, two, meaning one is the number of uh, uh, cubic terms, two is the number of quadratic terms, and two is the number of linear terms. So we are we have obtained for the f in this 512 S boxes, we have obtained these are the different classes. Uh, and this is the three, TI implementation of uh, algebraic degree three function, where we are. Uh, so these are the four inputs of an Xbox S box X one Y one Z one W one, and we have this threshold implementation, and followed by a Dmax uh, circuit. We are using a shift uh, cyclic register to uh, rotate the bits in every clock cycle, and we are obtaining one one bit in every clock cycle. So we, opt, so we require four clock cycles to obtain the threshold implementation output of the S-box. So if, if we, we have, uh, for all the S-boxes, representative S-box from each classes we have taken, and we have uh, used uh, 180 nanometer technology to uh, synthesize our design, and we have computed the dynamic power as well, and we have observed that for class 122 and class 133, the area requirement and the dynamic power requirement is the least. So one observation, though we don't have a, a proof for this, but we have observed from all these classes that if, uh, if the number of cubic terms is less First priority is on cubic term. So if the number of cubic term is less, so 
the area, the, the desk box class becomes more area and power efficient. And suppose if the number of cubic terms are same, then the sum of uh, linear terms and the quadratic terms has to be less to make it more area efficient, area and power efficient. So then uh, we went further and we optimized the function, that ro local rule, having algebraic degree three, uh, to make it, we decompose that function into two functions with algebraic degree two, and we obtained a more optimized area efficient TI, that is we call, is that, uh, we call it as a composite TI, where in the first clock cycles from each classes we have taken and we have uh, used uh, 180 nanometer technology to uh, synthesize our design and we have computed the dynamic power as well and we have observed that for class 122 and class 133, the area requirement and the dynamic power requirement is the least. So one observation, though we don't have a uh, proof for this, but we have observed from all these classes that if uh, if the number of cubic terms is less, first priority is on cubic term. So if the number of cubic term is less, so uh, the area, the, the desk box class becomes more area and power efficient. And suppose if the number of cubic terms are same, then the sum of uh, linear terms and the quadratic terms has to be less to make it more area efficient, area and power efficient. So then uh, we went further and we optimized the function, that ro local rule, having algebraic degree three, uh, to make it, we decompose that function into two functions with algebraic degree two, and we obtained a more optimized area efficient TI, that is we call, is that, uh, we call it as a composite TI, where in the first clock cycle, uh, we obtain the intermediate values. In the next clock cycle, we obtain the fi uh, final values for the S boxes. So using that, if you if you see, we, we have still reduced the area further and for class 131, we noticed like we have almost reduced 80% from, from our previous implementation, from algebraic degree three to algebraic degree two, decomposing that function. And then followed, uh, we have, uh, evaluated our uh, design using uh, fixed versus random text vector le leakage assessment. And we have collected one million trace uh, for that. And we obtained a, a value of minus, four po minus 0.42 plus uh, 0.3. And the permissible range is uh, minus 4.52 plus 4.5. So we can conclude that this our design is also side channel secure uh, design. So now we have we have designed two applications uh, based on this S box. First one is con completely focusing on the area. Now what we observe is uh, if we I mean if uh, if we use if I mean for uh, if if the diffusion layer is less, then we need more rounds and that will degrade our throughput. So for uh, present we have a branch number three. And for gift, we have branch number two. And, but gift as box possesses a BOGI property, which, which they utilize and made, and reduce the number of rounds to 28. But if we use our S box with the bit permutation, we get more number of rounds because we do not have the BOGI property. But it will, but our, this, this, this paradigm has the least area because uh, permutation doesn't uh, consume area. So for using this paradigm, we are able to hit, I mean, we are able to uh, show that our design is optimized in terms of area. Next, in, next is uh, design paradigm two where we are using almost MDS. Uh, almost MDS has better diffusion, so we get a better higher throughput. So since we, the number of rounds are less in that, so with that, we, you, with that we, we, we could reduce the number of rounds from 40 to 16, but the problem with this uh, design paradigm is the area would be a bit more because of the MDS layer, almost MDS layer. So this is, this is the uh, um, uh, uh, table where we compared uh, the other uh, uh, block ciphers along with our uh, uh, CA-based one. So we have 
of, I mean, with this class, we have seen that with 16 S boxes and uh, diffusion layer, we op we obtained an area of 2253 with with 131 um, uh, uh, class of CA based S box. With uh, this is the G um, in 180 nanometer, and this is uh, this is the throughput that we have obtained with uh, almost MDA. So, with almost MDA, throughput increases, but Area uh, throughput uh, throughput be, uh, be, I mean throughput is uh, good, but uh, the area degrades. But with bit permutation, area reduces, but throughput becomes much better. We have also explored the non-optimal S boxes. Like for example, we the, uh, there are other S boxes, the other rules which does not follow the non -op I mean, which does not follow the optimal property. We have es explored all those non-optimal uh, CA based S boxes also. But we found that those S boxes are not suitable. I mean, those uh, uh, CA rules are not suitable to construct a CA based S box, as they do not have BOGI property, and even the non-linearity is also uh, not good. So uh, in a future uh, work, we will uh, uh, extend this to uh, eight cross eight CA based test boxes. And we are considering this as a design for the uh, NIST submission, which like for uh, this design as a uh, theme for the NIST submission. Thank you. Thank you very much. Questions? Yes. Thank you. Thank you for the talk. Uh, can you go to slide number 18, please, where you showed um, the construction that you have? Yeah, um, I have actually two or three questions. One is, um, what is the latency of your design here? It means that for just given one input to this box, you need a couple of clock cycles, if I have understood correctly. Yeah. How many clock cycles do you need? Four clock cycles. Four clock cycles. Yes. And then you are switching the shared input to be given to the same circuit. Yes. And then this changing between the shared input is already known that is leaky. You cannot easily just share, change the input of this box which is shared to the one circuit. You should have some um, pre-charging state in between. Otherwise, the, um, the, state, the shares that you have, they will be overwritten on each other, at least on the, on, the, on the signals, and then you may already violate the non-completeness property. Uh, but if we, if we uh, implement this in different modules, then it won't uh, uh, violate the, uh, this uh, leak, I mean, it won't leaking. In that case, in, I mean, if we Im implement in them, them with the hier keep hierarchy on option with, in different modules, that w then it won't be, uh, then why do you need four clock cycles if you, there are four different modules? Yeah, but four clock cycles is required because in each clock cycle, we are obtaining one bit of output of the S box. But then you use the same circuit, the same sub circuit, to make the other, let's say, bit of the S box output or share of the S box output. Share of the S box output. Yeah, then, then as I said, you know, you, you have shared input to the circuit and you just change the, in, the, the input to the Spox, which is shared again, you mean you swap some shares to the Spox. Probably we need to discuss about this in, in, in offline, yeah? Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, because it probably takes longer. Um, my second question is, um, how do you achieve here uh, or guarantee uniformity? Yeah, so... Uh, uh, uniformity is, uh, the de like... Uh, uh, we have the expressions like when we decompose a boolean exp uh, expression into the number of shares we check the uniformity using the uh, uniformity table like if if the values comes zero or a, s a specific single value then it's uniform so whatever uh, for this class 131 and 122 whatever uh, so we have i think we have the uh, uh, expressions i think wait Oh, I think that slide I don't have, but we have it in our paper uh, that when we decompose this expression, like class one, two, two, or one, three, three, using three share, we have all those expressions checked with our, uh, it is meeting the uniformity. But you consider the uniformity only for one, uh, one single bit of this box output, or, or 
just for, or for all of the outputs, because you cannot just consider one part of this box output and say this is uniform, and then if I can concatenate the other uniform output, the result will be uniform. No, we are considering the all the outputs are, uh, uh, all the outputs okay. uniform because if we divide if we sh divide this uh, expression into three output shares, mm -hmm. then uh, those three functions are all uniform. It will uh, it will follow the uniform uniformity property. Okay. Now, since we are using the same function, so it will follow the uniformity property overall. Okay. Thank you. And yeah. Um, um, yeah. Uh, thank you for the talk. Um, the uh, you compare your your S boxes with other S boxes, um, but the cost mostly depends on the implementation, not that much on the S box. So, what implementations did you use for these uh, existing S boxes? Uh, we used uh, the uh, what implementation the function like. Uh, like I mean, uh, LUT based uh, optimization for other is boxes and for our function based. Mm, okay. Okay. Any other question to Rajat? Okay. If not, let's thanks Rajat again. Thank you. Thank you.